Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in again to another episode of Software Spotlight. Today, we're talking to Mario from Food Ready Go. Mario, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Yourself? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Thank you. So um, what led to the creation of Food Ready Go? What sort of inspired you to start the business? Well, it, it was a combination of years of working in the catering industry myself and um, the necessity of solving a real issue. It's a massive food waste issue in the catering and hospitality industry. Up to 2019, we had an average, which is the last time that we have reliable data before COVID. The whole of the industry, it was literally wasting 2 million tons of edible food waste every year. Um, and that's something that I, I experienced myself working with, with large facilities companies that we provide catering services. And it then I started to, uh, it began to take shape around my last year of studying at the London School of Economics as part of a software development project for my postgraduate diploma. Then it, it was a bit something that I had in my mind for a while, and then slowly we decided to go from the idea to the project. I love stories like that, where it's sort of based upon, you know, a real life experience. So you've experienced this problem, you've wanted to solve it. And that is a lot of food waste. A lot. It is, it's still a lot, yes. Mm, brilliant. So, um, yeah, how does the app work? What does, uh, <laughs> what, yeah. <laughs> Well, to put it simple, in short, is we, we try to make it, it is a very simple and intuitive pre-ordering software. Uh, and basically, what, what it does is it allows contract catering companies to present well in advance their weekly menus to the customers. Imagine a contract catering company feeding a thousand or hundred people a day. Have them book in and pay their meal choices up front in advance. And of course, uh, as we just said, by having all these people letting, knowing in advance what they're going to, to eat every single day in the canteen, at the cafeteria, saving tons of money on food waste. Um, and basically, in order to do that, we have created a um, web page for them, for every one of the contract catering companies to go to the web, to upload all the pictures, a lot of the product, upload all the, um, um, the prices of the product, the amount of product that they can sell. We don't want to sell more than what we have in stock. Mm. Also the food allergies, everything. We gave them all the tools and whatever they present on the web is going to be seen on the app to the final customer. Okay, And the customer will in the end download, yeah? download the application. It's going to see all the menus. And it's going to be able to see the product, choose whatever she fancies, pay in advance. And then when he's ready to collect, go show a QR code to the caterer, to the canteen, mm. and pick up the product, basically. Sounds brilliant. Um, is there any integration potential for Food Ready Go? Are there any other applications that it can hook up with? Or um, is there an open well, API? We have, yes, well, we each... Well, not as an API, but we are look. But we, we are looking now. When we joined the restaurant trade show a few weeks ago, we had a lot of interest by EPOS companies mm. that they they want somehow, and we are in conversation with some of them now. They want um, our app to be integrated with their uh, point of sales in order to use our app. Mm. Yeah. Um, to place the order and then using their impost to the caterer, to the canteen, to the restaurant, to the pub. It's not just at this point, just, uh, just contract catering company, but anyone who uses an electronic point of sales mm -hmm. yeah, can use our apps integrated with this, with this service. Oh, that's brilliant. We, I mean, at 4.0, we love a bit of integration. <laughs> it's the name of the game for us. <laughs> so what would describe your ideal client? If you could, you know, describe your ideal client, the perfect person that would suit your product, who would that be? 
Well, as I say, I mean, we would like, we want everyone to use Food Ready Go. Of course, <laughs> we would, we love at some point uh, to be a household name. Mm. Uh, but as we said, ideally, we would like to, uh, our segmentation, our market segmentation is the contract catering company. Mm. Yeah, that's, we, we had that problematic, if you want, that real life problem that we wanted to solve. Mm. Then that, if you want, is our number one client. But again, when we, and this is based in, in the experience that we have in the restaurant show too, we had a lot of interest, a lot of interest for the small and medium businesses. Um, we, we had people coming to, to, to our stand and asking if they could have it, people that they have two, three restaurants, two, three pub, very small businesses too, that they want, somehow they have a free, they want to have, and they don't know how to do it, they want to showcase their own product, yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh, imagine your usual next corner shop, next corner bakery, that they do have a recurrent client that comes every day. Mm. And they want them to have the possibility to go, as I, as I said, you know, using technology, using the phone, using the QR code, play, pay in advance and go and collect it. Mm. Then at this point in time, yes, it's still a contract catering company. But we would love to have also small and medium businesses because they seem very interested on the product. Um, on our next uh, update, because we're updating the, the, the app, we are changing the way that it looks like a little bit the app to make room for pretty much a small and medium businesses. Basically, okay. everyone is welcome at this point in time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you gave me a, a quick demo back at the restaurant show, and I've got to say it was very intuitive as far as using it goes. So, um, yeah, I can see some big things coming. <laughs> um, what is your favorite feature within Food Ready Go? Is there a certain part of the app that you love? Is there anything that stands out above the rest? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, Of course, I, I like the whole of the app, of but course. the part that I personally really, really enjoy a lot is the pre-ordering, the pre-checking. Mm. If you want a new term for us, because basically we wanted to empower the person at work to decide when to go and collect. In general, people, they have the frame mind because of all these delivery services. Nowadays, you go, you pay, you go, and you have it delivered. Mm -hmm. And it does work for some cases, but not everywhere. As I said, for a small business, it is may not ideal always. And also, again, if we are at work, we want to decide when we go and collect. Maybe we are at work. Our, our meeting is running late. We cannot go to the canteen 12 o'clock. We give them, we're giving them now the possibility by clicking the check-in and using the pre-check-in uh, key to let they can denote that Mario or Jordan is coming to pick up the food. And that gives a little bit, if you want, of empowerment and control to the final user. Uh, especially nowadays after COVID, at work, for instance, we have people that they are coming just two, three times, two, three times to, to work. Let's say this is the usual example that I, that's I normally give, considering that we are in the UK. Friday, efficient chief days. I know I want to go to work. I have, I'm working on Friday. I really don't want to queue at the canteen because I'm together with a lot more people. I go prepay in advance when I'm ready to collect, even if it's 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I already pay. I'm helping the country company to don't waste food. But also from my side, because I'm using this, this new feature that we introduced, I can go there, show my QR code, no cues, go collect my food, and then I go. And it gives you a, a, a something extra if you want. Hmm. It's like a, it benefits both parties in that sense. Yeah, you're okay. helping them with their yeah. inventory management, but also it's more convenient for you. Yes, exactly. Yes. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah. Um, we did lightly touch on this, but are there any new features or updates on the way? I know you mentioned there was going to be some um, more aesthetic changes as well. What we would like to to introduce, but that's hopefully for next year and depending, you know, uh, uh, our expansion, basically, is we would like to introduce NFC technology. At this moment, we are using uh, the phone and the QR code, which is typical because everyone has a, a, a phone. 
but because we are also serving schools, we want to use bracelet for for some school for students um, to go and do exactly the same, but using a bracelet. So we want to introduce, you know, pair it with NFC technology, and hopefully, if we've got enough, if if we grow, and we've got hopefully hundreds and thousands of small and medium businesses, we would like to add geolocation in order for the app to tell you the nearby uh, shops that they have joined Food Ready Go. But that's yeah. hopefully for next year. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. <laughs> so if someone who was watching this video wanted to start using Food Ready Go right at this very second, what would be their mm -hmm. first call of action? Well, they can go to our website. They can go to the section book an appointment. We have a calendar. Um, can go there just for how long they want to have a meeting if there is 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour, they choose the day and they can book themselves a meeting with us. They can choose if it has to be face to face or if they want to be on Zoom, like our meeting. Um, or maybe the old fashioned phone call, if they don't want to email, if they don't want to book any appointment online and they prefer a phone call, uh, they can start doing that. The first thing that we do, we discuss very briefly that, that requirement, how, what, what they want to do, what type of business they want, what they want to promote. Um, it takes three, four days, tops one week, depending on the size of the business, to set up the accounts. We normally show them how to use, even if it's super intuitive. In any case, we give them either access through YouTube videos that we have. I think you, you saw a few of the videos on the trade show that they can see how easy it's create and present their own menus. But we can do that face to face if they prefer. Uh, rather than online. It takes one week to give access and then they can start using it pretty much uh, straight away. Brilliant. Well, Mario, it's been absolutely brilliant having this chat. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No worries. Well, I hope you have a good day and I shall you see you all next time on the next episode of Software Spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>